it was a bit of a shock. It was a bit of a shock. Reaction today at Ryder University after the administration announced the school will slash 14 majors, move three others down to a minor, and lay off 14 full-time faculty due to budget cuts. I had no idea until they sent out the email yesterday. So it was a surprise to me. Students say they were blindsided by the move, which the university says should save $2 million a year annually as the school tries to close a $7.5 million budget hole. We all made our class schedules this past week, and they only told us yesterday. So people have made classes for majors that aren't there anymore. Among the cuts, advertising, American studies, business education, the economics BA, web design, and several arts programs affecting more than 300 students total. These are not what one would call fringe areas of an institution. Jeffrey Halpern is with Riders Teachers Union. He says student enrollment has been down for about five or six years, and faculty and students were never consulted about the cuts. This morning alone, I've had a number of students in my office asking what am I supposed to do. The university declined our request for an interview, instead sending an email explaining that while current juniors and seniors will be able to complete a degree in their chosen major, academic coordinators will help freshmen and sophomores to evaluate their options and make decisions that are best for them moving forward, and they'll provide outplacement and other support services to assist faculty in their transition. I expect what they will do is try to bring in brand new people at the adjunct level. Um, they will make accommodations, which means students have being allowed to waive some requirements or substitute courses, and effectively downgrading the quality of the degree. Are you going to be affected by these cuts? I am. I have to talk to my advisors um, to see exactly what's going to happen. Right now I'm thinking my choices are to either change my major, which I don't really want to do, or I might have to transfer. My philosophy teacher is directly affected. She knows someone who is getting let go. And just seeing the class environment with that made me feel like I had to do something. Sophomore Kenny Dillon started a petition late yesterday afternoon. He's got nearly a hundred signatures, hoping for a couple hundred more today. To me, in a school, cutting programs and options for kids is the last thing you want to do, and this affects almost 300 kids. Certainly all of the colleges, not only in New Jersey, but around the country, are faced with the thought that there are fewer traditional college-age students coming out of high school right now. It is not a crisis that requires action without consultation. So morale is low, petitions are circulating, faculty and students just want an opportunity to have a seat at the table. They're hoping it's not too late to scale back these cuts. In Lawrence Township, I'm Brianna Venozzi, NJTV News.